Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, October 14th. We are looking at the SPY ETF's market profile here on Window Trader. And here is the overnight and pre market as we've become very comfortable trading right around above the 350 level in the pre market session. Volume very light, 328,000 so far. Remember, we had an inside day yesterday. Very, very important. Come out of an inside day, you go with it and monitor it for continuation or lack of. So plain and simple, if we take out yesterday's low, you're certainly going to take out the ninth low. I would go with that trade as a short looking to fill the weekly gap. If you come out, come back into the range, lack of continuation out of the trade. So that's one put play early in the day. On the other hand, if we come out to the upside, take out yesterday's high, then you go with the call play looking for at least the 12th high and see if we get into the single prints, that last set from back in early September, which is the last stumbling block to the all-time high. Even if you don't get the 12th high, you have a buck and a half between yesterday's high and that high to get some distance. So those are two trades if and when you come out of the inside day. And I'm sure we will at some point. Question is which way. Now remember, we had a pretty visual pock here, 11 wide. So if we get accepted into M's range, we know all about acceptance in M, the odds of at least trading back to that very visual 11 wide point of control is very, very good. So M's range is going to play an important part considering we've been trading right around the lower end. Remember yesterday, we barely got into M's range from the 12th. Never saw it again. Now I'm going to attribute that to because we never saw the opening again, which is the real important part. But it's still something we have to keep an eye on. If we open today, cannot stay inside M's range, cannot get accepted into M's range, well then the odds of taking out these two days lows become very, very good. If you get acceptance, we should at least trade up to the POC, most of them, if not all of them, and then you might have a little more time for this market to bounce around before it decides does it want to come out of M's range to the upside or the downside. That's what we're looking at this morning. Very light volume so far, but there is still 75 minutes to go prior to the opening. Destinations, again, I'm going to just give them to you a couple of them quickly. So the very visual POC 351.13. Then we have the afternoon rally high, which is H's high, 35162. Pre market high, 35228, and yesterday's high, 35244. Downside, 349.35 is our overnight low right now. Then we have 34906, yesterday's low. I'm sorry, 34909. 34906 is the 12th low, and then filling the gap at 347.35. And then that nine wide at 346.52 from the ninth and 345.95 afternoon pullback low also from the ninth. And then below that, we have daily lows and gaps. Remember, there's three gaps. And then on the chart, I'll just show the daily. This is the important one. We know the monthly and weekly, their goals right now are the all-time highs. Monthly's balanced, the weekly's one time frame up, still holding that gap. Although if we take out yesterday's low, I have a feeling that weekly gap will fall. But three gaps on the daily, inside day, that's going to absolutely tell the story of what we will do throughout the trading day. Come check us out at camelbacktrading.org. Have a great day trading, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.